Right behind this door is a Mustang that we got called to try to save after it's been sitting in this barn for the last six years. And later in the video, once we had it back at our shop, we found a crazy surprise in the trunk. Oh, oh shoot. How many are there? There's two. There's two? Yes. This is like a carnival game. So back at the barn, in order to get it out, we first had to jack up the back. That way we could slide wooden planks underneath it so we could rotate the back of the car and pull it out. Now, while pulling it out, looking over the car, it's actually in pretty good condition underneath all this mold and dirt. And make sure you guys watch all the way through the video because at one point we're offering you guys the chance to win a free detail on our channel. And it's all thank you to the sponsor of this video. So you do not want to miss that. Now, the first thing we were going to do was ozone this car to get rid of the smell. But that's when things immediately took a turn and we found all of the mouse problems. All right, so we're tearing down on the inside of the Mustang interior and we notice a nasty smell. And so we're gonna ozone it. What an ozone machine does is it pumps in oxygen to the third molecule, otherwise known as ozone, and that will suffocate any bacteria that is making that nasty smell that we're smelling. But before we even got to that point, we went to go pull the back seat out of the car and we've never seen anything like this. Almost half at least of the cushion of the back seat is completely eaten away by some kind of rodent. This is supposed to be a whole entire bolster in this corner, it's gone. If it wasn't for the metal there, there you go. Your back seat's not supposed to do that. Nothing under there. Okay, Wanna open the glove box? It stinks in here. Dude, it does stink. Oh, <laughs> man. Yes. Bingo. Oh, that smells so bad. This is so thick and dense. Dude, it's so thick. Uh oh. The Mustang book. I don't think this is good anymore. Oh, boy. Holy camoles. None of that foam anywhere. Oh, there's a mouse in there. Oh, there is a mouse. Where? Where? He's trying to get out. Get him. Oh my God. How many are there? I called it. I said we were going to have a mouse in here. There's two. There's two? Yes. Woohoo. <gasps> Why are mice so freaky? They're freaky fast, freaky fresh. This is like a carnival game. Oh, shoot. Catch the mouse. Right back there. All right, so we can't ozone the car yet because there's obviously mice that are running around the interior and maybe they're in the body panels right now. We don't want them to die. So we put some humane mouse traps in the trunk where we initially found them and hopefully we can get them to get into those traps and then relocate them somewhere outside the car and then we'll ozone that. So that's the plan. For now, we're gonna wash the outside or they might go in our shop and go in our cars, which we don't want. <laughs> I'm sure many of you have heard about ceramic coatings before, but have been weary about applying one to your vehicle by yourself. And that's where this video sponsor comes in, Avalon King. Now, why should you apply a ceramic coating to your vehicle? Well, one, it makes your car extremely easy to clean. Two, it makes it super easy to dry. And three, it protects your car against the elements and contamination way better than sealant or wax ever could, and it also lasts significantly longer. Now, why should you guys use Avalon King? Well, first off, it's the easiest coating I've ever applied to a vehicle, and I've applied hundreds. It's as simple as wipe it on, wait 30 seconds, and wipe it off. Literally easier than applying wax. And two, they supply a comprehensive kit with everything that you need to apply the coating. The coating, the applicator block, a microfiber towel to wipe off the coating, gloves, and suede applicators. Avalon King is one of the most cost-effective coatings on the market today. If you click our link in the description, the first 200 people that buy a ceramic coating kit will get a second one completely free. And on behalf of Avalon King, we want to detail, film, and ceramic coat one of your abandoned or barn find vehicles completely for free. And if you're in the Cleveland area, we will tow the car from your home to our shop and back. So just emails, pictures to the email in the description below, and hopefully you win a free detail and get to see it on YouTube. And earlier this month, I put Avalon King on my own personal vehicle. So thank you to Avalon King for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the detail. Now hopping into the exterior for the first time ever, we did a ceramic coating on video. So if you guys buy the Avalon King package, you can watch exactly what we do. So you know exactly how to apply it at home and we show you how easy it is to do it yourself.
Okay, so before we start washing off the actual car, we're gonna vacuum all the loose dirt off the surface and then anything out of the jams. That way it's not flying all over our shop and it makes the detailing a lot easier. And the last thing before we start washing the car is taking off the spoiler. That way we can get all the dirt underneath it and we can also coat it when the time comes. Alright, now while we're washing it off, this is where I want to ask you guys the question in the video, so leave your answers in the comments below. Since we're going to be giving away a free detail, what car would you guys want to see on this channel? Obviously, if you look through the videos that we've done in the past, we have a huge variety of cars that we've detailed, so sky's the limit. Leave a comment which one you'd want to see. Now we're going to clean the engine bay because later after we're done washing and coating the car, we're going to mess around a bit and see if we can get it to start. But I want to ask you guys, would you keep the engine that's in this car or would you replace it with something different? And if you would replace it, what would it be? All right, now we're gonna get the car rinsed off and we're gonna show you guys exactly how we coat it. 
All right guys, so this video sponsor is Avalon King and it is a ceramic coating company and we're gonna apply this coating to this car and we're gonna show you how. Very simply, we're going to wash the car like you just saw, then we're going to clay it either using synthetic clay, like this mitt, or an actual clay bar, if you might be familiar with that. So you're gonna try and get the paint as smooth and as clean as possible, removing any kind of contamination. That way, when we go to lay down the coating, it can bond perfectly with the paint underneath and not have anything in between you know, the coating and the paint. Then we're gonna polish the car. In this case, this car desperately needs it. There's a lot of oxidation, a lot of scratch marks. You could apply the coating without polishing. It won't last as long and it won't look as good if the paint isn't free of scratches or oxidation. So that's a step that you'll have to decide at home if that's something you wanna do. And I've used a lot of coatings in the past and a lot of them are very finicky, very tacky, very hard to put on, especially when it's hot and humid like it is now in summer. Avalon King has made it super simple to where you can slap the coating on and 20 minutes or less, and uh, it's really easy to reapply too. So in a year, if the coating isn't performing as well as it was when you first put it on, you could throw another coat on, easy peasy. So after getting the paint completely clean and then deciding if you wanna polish it or not, what you're gonna do is take some isopropyl alcohol diluted with water and wipe all the paint down, get any leftover compound or oils off of it to make sure it's completely clean. And then once you do that, you'll put a suede applicator over the applicator block, put a couple drops of ceramic coating onto the applicator, and then you'll work in sections across the entire car to make sure that you get everything covered and then everything wiped away afterwards. So you only wanna do one section at a time. And our recommendation is to let a ceramic coating cure for 24 hours before it touches any water but check out how amazing avalon king performs when you see all of this water beating off the hood and its hydrophobic tendencies we're very impressed with it so it looks like at some point the driver had bonked into something he broke this turn signal which i think we're going to replace if we can get it in time and then he went all the way down the car and uh and actually put a nice little dent in here in this quarter panel so we thought it'd be a good time for rj's pdr so i have my hand in here and it's a feel, it's a touch and a feel, and I think you just have to. So then we went ahead and finished coating the rest of the car. We put the wing back on, coated that, and then we tried to get it to start. I really wanted to see if we could get this thing started. I know that it's been sitting for a few years and there is a water pump issue. I still think that we could get it running. I'm gonna check the oil. Eh, we're right in the center there. Should be good. We already have it hooked up some power. All right. All right, RJ and I just got back from the gas station. We filled up the Mustang and hopefully we can get it started. I think I see the problem. It's actually completely empty on brake fluid. So we're probably gonna have to fill that up to see if we get this started. All right, yeah, it's definitely not getting fuel. Uh, cranks over on uh, car fluid. Uh, I don't know. But moving on to the interior, we started by vacuuming everything and then we extracted the carpets, which it was a night and day difference. You guys will see it's very satisfying. And then we did the seats so they had a lot of time to dry before we put everything back together. Now for the extraction, first we're gonna spray the soap into the carpet and then we're gonna drill brush it. And then we'll use our extractor with only hot water in it to suck everything away.
Now the interior was covered in mold, so we used something called TriClean, which is supposed to kill 99% of bacteria, along with magic erasers and soft bristle brushes, and it turned out absolutely amazing. And a commonly missed spot when detailing are the foot pedals. We just like to use degreaser and a steamer and it really makes for quick work. I also wanna say if you guys are enjoying the video, just by giving it a like, that really helps us out. We do these details absolutely for free, so if you guys like it, it helps us a lot. And the final thing we did, RJ briefly mentioned it earlier in the video. When we picked this car up, we noticed this headlight was missing the cover. So we decided out of our own pocket, we wanted to buy a whole new headlight housing to replace it. Just to thank the owner for letting us do his car for you guys. Mm -hmm. 